Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm going to show you around the quaint little town of Bath, New Hampshire. It's a small town of just about 1,100 people, and I noticed on its Wikipedia page it said that between the 2010 and 2020 census, there was no change in population. <laughs> First, I'm going to show you the main attraction I came here to see and then I'm going to show you some other interesting things around town. Starting with this monument right behind me. It's a monument to the people from the city here who fought in various wars, Korea, World War II, and Vietnam. The main thing that caught my attention in Bath here, the reason I came in, was to see this covered bridge that is still in service. There's their town clock and the covered bridge here has an eight foot something clearance. It's a one vehicle at a time one lane bridge with a six ton limit which totally knocks out my ability to drive my <laughs> motor home through it. And here is the speed limit. Make sure you make note of that. Let's watch this car go through it. And here's a pickup truck. It's a fairly long bridge. I'll show you the side of it. And the river that the bridge is spanning is the Amonasuk River. Very strange spelling. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. And what's really exciting is what's on the other side of the bridge. That's how you spell Amonasuk. The bridge has its own Pepsi machine. <laughs> and look at this. Now the bridge is not painted, it is just bare wood. Maybe it was painted at some point, but now it is just unpainted bare wood. I guess you would call it unpainted, unless it might have some kind of a lacquer or something. But look at this waterfall. That is a pretty spectacular waterfall, if I do say so myself. There's some windows in the middle of the bridge, so I can go up there and get a look from right on top of the waterfall. So first I'm going to go all the way the length of the bridge in my little scooter here. How exciting is this? <laughs> this is nice. See what's on the other side. It goes to some residential area here. It said 8 foot 8 inches, but I guess they wanted to give it a little more leeway. So here's the waterfall from one of the windows. See how far I can see down the river there. Got some four-wheelers there. So this is really a dam there and there. And then here as it goes over the rocks, it's more of a waterfall. And the bridge is just right in the downtown area there. Here's a view from the one of the windows on the other side of the bridge. Look 
There's some boys down here. What are they doing? Couple girls there, I think. Yes, they're just cleaning the water. It must be nice to be there in the when it's hot in the summer. Here's a shot looking upstream. And just up from the bridge on the town side is the brick store, which is America's oldest general store. And they are so old school here. They think we're still in a pandemic. <laughs> but they've got cold beer, penny candy, and here is a penny pincher machine. I bet you know what that is. And what a surprise, they sell maple syrup. <laughs> There's the big news for the town. Smokehouse, coffee, donuts, deli, and ATM. <laughs> Well, I would really like to go in there and see what they've got. I could certainly use one of these. Right next to the general store is an art gallery and the creamery. And I could get some gas from my motorcycle too. I like their prices. <laughs> they've got an old soda fountain in here. One of those old style soda fountains. We'd love to have some ice cream here too, but everything in this town is closed. Even the museum. Even their restaurant is closed. And this is a Friday early afternoon. What is going on? And I don't got no homemade fudge. And across the street from the general store is their church with a really sharp steeple. Wow. Now this store next to the church seems to be open. Actually that's not a store. That is the Bath Public Library and post office. I don't know what that is. It says post office here but they have just let it really fade out. On the side of the post office is the town clerk and this is the police department. And there is their police car. <laughs> One block down is the hotel And they got a fire department. Well, I think I showed you just about everything there is <laughs> in the town of Bath. No stores to buy anything that I can see. They're even out of firewood. Good grief. Here's an interesting old building. Doesn't have any signs on it. Might be abandoned. And this one as well. I guess it was built in 1831. And there is the city dumpster. <laughs> By the way, they do have this campground that is just about a mile outside of town. And the campground has a mini golf course right here. And lastly is their cemetery. Looks like it's got quite a combination of really old gravestone markers and some modern ones. This one looks really new. This is the old Lang sign. <laughs> Looks like this one is 
ready for somebody to set claim to it. <laughs> Well, folks, like I said, it's a interesting, quaint little town. I think, though, not some place that you'd want to book a vacation for. <laughs> Good day, folks.